What is up, guys? Frank the Tank here, back on another episode of MLB The Show 16. Jumping into Diamond Dynasty, got home from work today, saw some rumblings around Twitter, and saw that we got some new cards and some new limited time packs in the game. So we're going to take a look at just a couple of the new cards. First up, this 99 2012 edition Miguel Cabrera flashback card. Look at the stats on this card. It's absolutely crazy. Currently one up for 275K. There's a sell now price for 225K. If you pull this card, it's 225,000 stubs. Look at the numbers, 99 and 98 contact, 96 and 99 power, 99 clutch, 79 play vision. Amazing card. I would love to have this card. Would probably have to sell it if I pulled it just because that's so many stubs. Uh, but look at his left and right, like the like the hot and cold zones. It's all red. Incredible card there. A um, couple other ones that are new today. We'll just take a look through. I think this Adrian Gonzalez might be new. I'm not sure. I can't remember seeing it. I don't have a comprehensive list in front of me. I do apologize for that. But I just want to make a quick video to see some of these cards and open some of those new packs. Um, I think this Carlos Ruiz is new, 91 gold. Uh, same with this Prince Fielder, rookie edition, 1990, going for about 50k stubs right now. Uh, there was a couple other good ones. This Joaquin Benoit might be one. Decent reliever there. And one, I, I think I know Escobar's one too. One I know for sure that I wanted to point out rookie Giancarlo Stanton from the 2010 season contacts okay but 95 power against righties and lefties play vision is awful at 19 but you know other than that it's a really good card and it's only going for about 20k that's a nice card for 20,000 stubs expect that price to go down as more packs are pulled this Upton might be a new one too not too sure but really really nice hitting numbers again the play vision is not that great on these uh, younger rookie card players, but that's a couple of the new cards We're gonna open these new packs today each pack costs 5,000 stubs a piece very expensive Primetime performers and swing for the fences each pack contains three player cards With more than double the chance of pulling a gold or a diamond So that's pretty nice pretty happy about that. Hopefully we get something good our pack luck has been crap lately so we're going to start with a prime time performer. 5,000 stubs down the drain. We're going to get a Prince Fielder, Adam Lynn, and Ichiro Suzuki. Absolutely awful. That's maybe 300 stubs were the cards out of a 5,000 stub pack. Let's try a swing for the fence. Hopefully we get something good out of this. Gold or Diamond, Kike Hernandez, Mike Moustakis, and Marcus Semien. Two more or three more bad cards. Not necessarily bad, but for 5k, that's a ton. Next, primetime performers. Oh, that's a diamond. We got a diamond. Oh. Oh, my gosh. I don't know who that is. I think I know who it is. First card, Brandon Phillips. We get a Jake Arietta. Let's go. 95 overall. And a Joe Mauer, Jake Arietta's price is soaring right now because of his no-hitter last night. That's an awesome pull. Let's go, man. 95 overall. I think that's going for like 55 to 60,000 stubs. Unbelievable. Wow. Very happy about that because the pack openings I've seen have been horrific for these. Let's jump into this last swing for the fences pack. Ooh, we got a throwback. Or a flashback. Abdul Herrera, that's a nice silver. Daniel Murphy. Hey, throwback Jose Batista. I have that exact baseball card too. I'm a big baseball card collector for those of you who don't know. Uh, maybe that's going for something because it's Batista. Uh, he was trash with the Pirates. Doesn't even look like himself. Oh man, I cannot believe he pulled a diamond. Let's go check Arietta's value real quick. And. Whoo! 50. <laughs> 57,775 stubs. Wow. Can't believe it. Very, very good pull. 
I'm sorry my reaction wasn't as good as it should have been, but I am currently very sick. I don't feel well at all. Just want to get a video up for you guys today and go over some of those cards. Uh, let's try to find that. What's it called? That uh, Jose Batista. I assume it'd probably be similar to the price of one of these. Um, uh, still going. Hey, that's a new one. That's Jay Bruce. 30k. Holy crap. Ooh, maybe we'll get lucky with Joey Bats. Um. Oh my gosh, what was the rating again? Why is this Alex Rios go for that much? John Lackey, Scott Feldman, Mark Burley. Holy crap. Did I miss it? I had to have missed it. Oh, there we go. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, three, <laughs> 375 stubs. How about that? 73 contact lefty and 90 power lefty is actually really, really good for a card that's only 300 stubs. I might keep this card on my bench just because I really don't need 300 stubs that bad right now. Um, I don't know. I'll probably hang on to it. Definitely going to sell Arietta right now while his price is hot. Uh, 577 we'll throw it up for 55500 we'll clear 50k after that thanks for watching guys second best pull of the year coming here with a Jake Arietta and threw a no hitter last night really fun watching that game I clicked on for the last couple innings so let me know what you guys think like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new if you open these limited edition packs, I don't know how long they're going to be in the game. I'm going to assume just for the weekend. Uh, but let me know if you guys pull anything. I love to hear about your polls. I answer every comment that you guys throw down there. Once again, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for the support. Would not be doing the pack openings and stuff like this and putting money into the game if you guys weren't doing such a great job at supporting them. This is Frank the Tank, and I will...